If you find getting into a classroom situation a little intimidating or just very uncomfortable, I'm going to give you some quick hints and tips of things that you can do ahead of time with your teacher or in just planning out so that you can go into the class and feel comfortable with with the whole situation. First of all is to work out a cue with your teacher on um, a quiet way to alert him or her that you need some help and or that you have something that you're dealing with that that you need um, their attention for. And if you can work that out ahead of time and also um, work out with them what what is considered an emergency? What can I alert you for? And what can wait until later? Um, and if you have a list in front of you, maybe, or you've gone over it with the teacher verbally and you understand it, um, that'll give you a little better idea of how you can ask for help and also how um, they can respond to you in those situations. Another thing is that um, there's a lot of things as an older student when you're in a co-op class that you're expected to do that you may really have a struggle with, especially if you have a hard time sitting still for a long time and listening while somebody is um, speaking right at you and not have anything else to do. And so work out ahead of time also with your teacher uh, a placement for where you sit as to how that um, situation can help you most pay attention. Maybe sitting by a window is the best thing. If you can look out without the rest of the students really knowing that you're looking out the window um, and so you can listen better, that might be a, a best situation. If doodling or having a fidget toy or something that's quiet um, helps you, then maybe sitting in the back of the class is the best place for you to, because then that wouldn't be distracting to other students who may peer over and see you doodling or to see you um, just playing with the fidget toy so that you can listen better. Um, or if you're really distracted, maybe sitting in the front of the class where those distractions are fewer um, would help you. Just know that um, Co-ops have guidelines, they have rules, so that everybody in the class can succeed. And sometimes that's going to be a little more difficult for you. But if you work out ahead of time with your teacher ways that you can be more successful, they really do want to work with you and help you to, to meet um, those guidelines where you're at. Um, and participating in a class may not be a place you're comfortable with yet. And again, you need to discuss that with your teacher. I know my son... He loved to be part of group situations, but when it came to interacting, playing a game or discussion, he would just rather sit back and, and absorb. And as long as the teacher understood that that's where his comfort level was, then they just let him do that. And he felt like he was being listened to. And so um, just make sure that you speak out ahead of time, because oftentimes a teacher or somebody from the co-op is only going to force you when they don't understand what you're dealing with. But when you articulate, this is what I need, this is this is how I feel more comfortable, they're going to be able to understand that and say, okay, if that's how you participate, then, then that's what we need to do at this point to help you be more successful too. So again, it's just being able to advocate for yourself, be able to say, this is what I need to work out ahead of time those situations, and the classroom situation will be a much more pleasant experience for you and everybody else.